I'm a registered Democrat, but I am totally against this um, wanting to shove a bill down our throats that we do not know anything about. They know nothing about, actually, because they haven't read it. And if it's so good a bill, why does it have to be done in six months? Or it could be just as good a bill in six months from now, two years from now. Let the American people vote on it to, to dictate their own health care, not have the government tell us what kind of health care we need. If we vote on it, it passes. That's that's the legal way. So you'd be more in favor of That's the democratic way. So you'd want to recognize. Yes. You said you're a registered Democrat. Did you vote for Obama? Did you want to I did not vote for Obama. Did you vote for McCain? I did. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, I will be honest. Okay. Uh, I did not like his plans in the very beginning. Um, and I do not like the way our country is going. I think we're going totally towards socialism. I, I do not want to be under socialism. And I've been in health care all my life. I've always been told we never want socialized medicine. And this is what we're going to get. The main thing that I'm really totally opposed to now is the fact that they're telling us that we will have every five years, end-of-life conferences. Now, President Obama wanted to get on TV yesterday and say, oh, this is just to give um, um, uh, credit to the doctors, that they'll get, they'll get paid for this. No, the doctors will all do this now for free. Why would we want to spend taxpayers' money to give them more to give us a conference on end-of-life? No, this is free now. This, so is, this you, is just something that they're trying to snowball us with. So do you, th do you go as so far as some others have, where they say that they consider these death panels, quote unquote? Uh, I'm not going to go that far. I'm not going to say they'll be that radical now, but I don't know what they'll be doing 20, 25 years from now if this gets through. If this gets through, we're finished as far as what we have to say about health care. Uh, what do you mean you're finished? We're finished. We will have no say. It'll be up. It'll be the government telling us what we need and when we need it, and telling us what we can afford and what we can't afford, and rationing. I think there will be rationing as to uh, what kind of procedures we'll be able to have. And, uh, I totally feel that. Uh, and some folks have, have said they th they think that this is moving toward a single payer system. Uh, I think none so. None of the bills are, uh, you know, sing mandating single payer. But do you Not know? now, right. but once this gets in, we I don't trust them. I, after the things that have come down, I do not trust them. I don't trust them to make decisions for me in this in this area. I think we should make our own decisions, good or bad. And, and do you, uh, do you, are you on Medicare now? I am. And do you like it, not like it? It's been okay. There's things that I don't like about it, but it's been okay. But I don't think the government can't run things now. We all know about the $500 hammers that they buy and the $600 commode seats. I mean, how are they going to direct our health care and do it efficiently when they can't even know how to buy supplies without spending a huge amount of money? You know? And uh, back to the politics of it, did you, uh, did you support any of the Democratic candidates? Like, did you like Senator Clinton or were you, were you not? Yes, I have, I have supported Democratic candidates in the past. Uh, probably.